Going over the live trades today on Monday, July the 17th, 2023, up 250. Small gain, hypotheticals plus 320. Springs up on the week, up on the month, quarter, and year. And we reduced the drawdown a little bit. And working towards those equity peaks once again, let's take a look at the market and the trading system signals on the day. Here is the market. And you can see... It's just kind of a slow grind. It's kind of one of those tricky tapes that kind of looks like it's making a topping formation that just keeps grinding higher. And it does this parabolic move, pulls in uh, pulls in more long trades, either through uh, short stops or strategies that trade momentum. And then it just comes back here. So it brings some of these fast moves can bring in the average pro bring the average price higher and then it rolls over. It's kind of a mean reversion on the volume weighted average price and you can see the ticks were going down on the day the advanced decline line made its high right here and pulled back wasn't that strong and it's just kind of this low volatility melt up the VIX is at 13.48 it's been staying around this level you see the S&P when it does this then it makes a sharp move up and then a sharp move down and then Russell, same thing, rolls over. And so those rollover trades can make a big difference in your total P&L, depending on how many strategies you have. So we had quite a few strategies getting long in here and then giving a significant portion back on that. And so um, let's look at the trades on the day. It is good to be up on a Monday. Mondays have been challenging. The NASDAQ outperformed the S&P today. And you can see Viper... Uh, plus 545 on the day on Viper and Gap Continuation, one of the top trades, plus 1995 robot, minus 425. This one can have a long losing streak. I think it's five or six losers in a row here in the past two weeks. And EVP1 got that move at the end of the day and spot it near the high. So um, this is one of our top strategies that catches momentum right now. The market is a little tricky when it comes to momentum. It likes to uh, have stealth movements, and then on a momentum move, it pulls back. That's recent. That's a recent pattern. Sometimes you see that in low VIX. Uh, tick reversal, one of our underperforming strategies, did really well exiting at the high of the day. Good trade there. And um, tick long, aggressive, kind of break even on the day. Started out was in line with that parabolic move higher and then got out around break even bounce reversal had a winner profit target got right back in and exit at the end of the day minus 95 on the day but the nasdaq was up i think let's take a look nasdaq was up about plus 2800 it was four for eight Four out of four winners out of eight trades. So four winners, four losers, plus 2,800 on the Nasdaq. Now the S&P was 0 for three and about minus 2,500. So only three strategies traded. 0 for three, minus 2,500. These opening chops and tick chops and strategies like this have done well because Mondays have been choppy. And so we trade these news-based strategies on Mondays. But we had this melt up, and so it didn't work too well today for today's trade. But it worked within our portfolio constraints because today was a positive day. Uh, like I said, plus 250. Mondays have been tough, and that's a short-term cycle on Mondays being tough. And so I'm glad that we walked away with the profit on Monday. I am looking forward to Tuesday's trade. Hey, David Bean here. Welcome to Capstone Trading Systems YouTube page. Be sure to subscribe to join our community of algorithmic traders. We are real money traders. We share our winning streaks, we share our losing streaks, as well as market updates, strategies, and coding tips.